So, you did your civic duty yesterday, and the candidate you vote for is going to help fix this economy, right? <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Wrong! And I hate to break it to you, but your candidate isn't going to do a damn thing for this economy. And I'll give you a few reasons why. First, individual candidates and their platforms, or lack thereof, can only have a minimal impact on what the government decides to do. Two, even if they can band together and put a plan in place, the economy doesn't really care about what any of the legislature does, at least not on a short-term basis. Long-term economic strategies and policies can have an effect on the big E economy uh, over years and decades. But short-term economy, like recessions or issues in the market, are rarely ever fixed by anything that the legislature has any control over. And everyone loves a scapegoat. You know, you want to blame Joe Biden, you want to blame Donald Trump, you want to blame the Fed or the Treasury or whatever. The economy really doesn't care about what anybody says. Except for the consumer. The consumer has almost 100% of all the power of everything that ever happens in our economy. So I hate to be the one to break it to you, but I gotta tell you, your vote doesn't matter. At least not when it comes to economic policies and where this recession is going to take us. So regardless of which way this thing goes, red or blue, it's going to look pretty much the same. But don't worry, the non-politicians that actually know something about how the economy works and how it functions all think it's probably going to be a pretty short-term issue. So just keep swimming and always keep voting, but don't try to put too much on the politicians or what they can or can't do. Go America!